Hey you. Hey you. Hey you. Good evening and morning to ya. 315 drops some real game changers on us, and with great game changers comes great responsibility to make tutorials on these hair things. Well, let's get it cracking and dip them mashy toes into some refreshing water of medical gameplay. Help your boy out with the like button, sub up and ring up like a boss. So you've been watching Hacksaw Ridge and now you want to get out in the field and save the day. Let's make sure you know what you're doing before you show up and get sued for malpractice. Head to your nearest pharmacy, grab a Cure Life med gun or a lifeguard medical attachment for your multi-tool and grab some refills. And by refills, I mean the green gel. That's it. That's all you need. I wouldn't recommend buying a lifeguard attachment and I'll tell you why in a bit. I like to grab a bunch of med guns and take maybe five with me. Right now, the ones that are equipped have a tendency to fall to the ground when you're in the inventory screen or sometimes when you're seated and if you don't spot it, goodbye gun. Hopefully that's fixed up before it goes live. All right, you're geared up now. If you're determined to use the multi-tool, drag the lifeguard attachment from your inventory over to the multi-tool. Once it's equipped, the four key will pull it out. Technically, you can just choose customize and choose the lifeguard attachment, but at the time of this video, it's glitched and will cause you to lose it. Again, hopefully by live. Once you got it out, go ahead and aim it. The white X means it's not aimed at anyone. The red X means you're too far away. Pill icon means ready to use. Point it at their limbs, chest, and head to get an assessment of their injuries. Green means that body part is in good, good, clean shape. Blue, purple, or pink requires medical attention. Pull the trigger to heal them and their health percentage will rise. Read the description on the left to see what further treatment is required to fully heal them and which drugs will treat their symptoms. You can administer the drugs to treat their remaining symptoms by switching the Cure Life Med Gun from basic to advanced. Drag the slider of the corresponding drug to the right. The farther right, the higher the dosage and the longer the effects will last. Clicking clear will reset the sliders to zero. You can set it to auto and it'll calculate the dose for you. Pull the trigger to go ahead and administer the drugs. Watch their blood drug level represented by the pill icon on the right. Raising their blood drug level above 75% will send them into an overdose state. With the lifeguard multi-tool attachment, there's no way to give them any medication besides the same stuff that's in the red med pen. And it's easy to overdose your buddy and have him walking around like Captain Jack Sparrow. Not that it's not hilarious to watch. So back it up is okay. Let me, I'm gonna try to walk a straight line. <laughs> and <laughs> he's the best doctor ever, man. Oh, I, I love you, man. I love you, man. <laughs> Okay, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, I love you, man. Dude. It's so cute. Oh, man. You know, man, this is such a great party. <laughs> it's fun, man. You got some cool people, man. I think, they're, I think everybody likes me. But they can die from it. The attachment itself takes a little less room in the inventory than the med gun, but the combined space of the attachment and an extra multi-tool takes up way more space, so really there's no reason to bring the lifeguard at all. At least not right now. To hit yourself with a dose, hit B while the med gun is out. You'll get the same readout without having to target the individual body parts. The green goo you're using for healing is an infinite, so you'll need to use the gel refills you bought when you started. Right clicking on it and hitting equip hasn't worked for me. Maybe it has for you, I don't know, but to refill as needed, the easiest way right now is to have the med gun out. Turn the camera by right clicking and dragging and placing it over the med gun. Bam, now you live to heal another day. If you've got a casualty with major trauma, you need to get them to the nearest hospital. At major landing zones like New Babbage or Orison, you'll need to land in the hangar, drag them to the hospital elevator, step outside of it, then use the panel on the outside to send them to a hospital room. Be nice if you could go with them. Instead of having to catch the train and go catch up with them, but it's all gravy, baby. And oh yeah, don't even bother with the gurneys. They don't work. Your buddy would just sink through it. Trust me, I know.
For the times when you have to limp into the hospital yourself, check into a room at the clinic or hospital reception desk, head to the room displayed on the terminal and approach the bed. If you want to go ahead and strip down first, the bed has storage you can store your stuff in. Once you hop in, the interface works the same if you're a patient or if you're at the foot of the bed helping somebody else. The bed will automatically heal minor injuries, bring your blood drug level down, and even rehydrate you. I guess they got Glacier Freeze Gatorade on the drip. Click medical care to see if more treatments require for things like broken limbs. Here you'll get a breakdown of what specific injuries need to be treated. There's a tab for medication. It's kind of hard to see at the moment. You can have the unit automatically dispense what's needed or dose it out yourself. Now I didn't mention the pins already because it's just quicker and easier to have the Cure Life tool. But there's some scenarios where it would make sense to carry them like if you want to dedicate as much space as possible for ammo or guns and you got a dedicated medic with you. You don't really need a med gun but if your medic happens to go down you want to at least have a couple med pins on deck to get them back on their feet. You could always just loot their body for a med gun, but if they're still alive but can't get moving quick enough, a pin can save the day. So you got the regular med pin to stop bleeding and raise overall health, opio pin to get your limbs working, adrenal pin to get that spotty vision out of your dome piece, cortico pin for torso injuries, and detox pin to bring down that high from being ejected with all of the above. Doesn't kill your levels all at once, but speeds up the rate that it falls. To use a pin on another player, you equip it with C. If you have one equipped to your armor already, you bring the pin out, then right click to use it. And of course, left clicking uses it on yourself. Just don't wear your pin out with all that self care. And that my friends is how you get down in the medical field. Now go out there and save some lives, especially if you see a beacon for me pop up. To the next time. Big incredible boss love to the 14 Wiseman, aka executive producers of this joint. Thanks for keeping the lights on and the bandwidth cracking and the sandwiches coming. By the beard of Odin, hold on to James Lee Evangelist, Mike the Mystery Alvira, Saucy One Sauce Guy, Commander Blackout, aka Sheba Baby, <laughs> Argo Mo Captain Phantasm, JP Stravinsky, the man with the lavish sounding name, Clean Since 2018, Eyes Open 2018, Momo, the greenest activist of them all, John Arcadian, aka Nurse Ratchet, Search and Rescue Leader, Smoke Mito, the man who hard flies reclaimers, Still Legacy, Ankaran, Elvish for don't get smacked up. And the Huntress, MMO extraordinaire. Big thanks, executive bosses. You are much appreciated. Seven up salute and shout out to all the Dig That fam supporting the Dig That in Space in Marts. Salute to the mother, Buster Boy, Guillotine Girl, Commander Dr. Digital, Zayla Maru, Commander Leviathan, So, Chi Town's finest, Time Out Four, Twinkie Twin Twin, Train Man Rob, Dead Eye Dead Eye Old, Figman, Evil Weasel, Titan Prime, Crash Test, Captain Rico, the Ops Manager, Commander Cool Whip, <laughs> Triple Awesome, Crash Down, Military Assets Director, Nathama Nit, G Ro, the Commission CEO, June Star, Carl Pagin, the Mad Doctor, Waffle Iron of Doom, and Abner Doom. Doom and Dune. <laughs> Big love, Dig That fam. My name is Dig That, and I rep the Bandu Merchant Man. Fly dirty citizens.